Now I'm going to show you how to do the Steiner's analysis on Analyzef. First off, you need to log in. And on your patient cases, you may choose to start a new case. Or on our case, I already uploaded uh, the CEF of my patient. So I'm doing patient number eight. And we're clicking Trace CEF. And we're doing the pre treatment. So let's run the analysis. So it's very important that you always check uh, the calibration. You can, if, if you already um, set it, you can just go back and check it again. As you can see here, I already set the start of the calibration ruler here and ended here. I made sure that it's the same on, on the side. So it's 10 millimeters here and on my CEF, it's 10 millimeters as well. So we click on save. And going back, so we choose the Steiner appraisal. And let's refer to the lower right portion of your screen where you can see the instructions which um, which uh, points uh, should you plot for the analysis so you can actually zoom zoom the image in or zoom it out so it's easier to see the points if it's a little bit um, bigger so I just zoomed it in and here let's follow the instructions Mark sale out. Okay. So, all right. Mark Nasian. So on my screen, it's actually uh, the, the cursor is uh, cross. But for example, you see this um, mouse pointer, uh, the finger pointing on top of the, the plotted point. It means that you can actually move it uh, you can change the position, for example, for correction. Uh, you can you can actually do that. Or if you want to go back to the previous point and you're just simply confused, um, you can undo your work, okay? And you can also redo, so there. Next is point A. Point A is way up here. Point B is here. Occlusal line, posterior point, anterior point. Gonian. So I'm taking the average because of the patient's asymmetry. So so again, if, if you're not really sure or if, if you want to change the position of the points, you may do so, okay? So as you can see here, as I am plotting the landmarks or the points of on my CEF, uh, Analyze CEF automatically measures the angles, the parameters, that is needed for the certain analysis. So it's it's actually easier. It makes it makes it easier for you to diagnose or to analyze the case because of this. So mark. Let's let's move on. Let's mark Nathan. Okay. Incisal edge of the maxillary incisor, the root apex. So if you cannot, if you cannot clearly see it, you can actually zoom it in. And there. Next is mark the incisal edge of the mandibular incisor. So it's here, and then the root apex. 
All right. And then Mark Pogonian. The tip of the nose. Soft tissue Pogonian. The upper lip. And the lower lip. So once the, all the points are plotted, the app notifies you that you're done and it will suggest that you save your work. So you have two options, you save or save and download. So let's save our work. And if you want to have a copy, an offline copy of your analysis, you may click on save and download. So let's open it. Okay, so this is how it looks. So it's very, very, very easy. Okay, thanks for watching.